so first things first, you're going to want to go to the highest level zone that you can. The higher the level zone, the more reputation you're going to get per mission. That being said, PvP missions give more reputation per mission, plus it also gives you PvP tracking XP. But you cannot use shrines while you're doing a PvP mission or else it'll get rid of the mission. PvE missions, you get less reputation, you get no PvP tracking XP, but you can use the shrine. My recommendation is that you do the PvP missions, it's definitely worth it. The first three missions you do per day will give you a faction rep bonus, so it'll give you more faction rep XP overall. But you can sit there and grind it out. I've done it both ways. There's only one PvP mission you're going to skip no matter what territory you're in. And that's the Fort Capture mission. If you end up getting the Fort Capture mission, you're going to grab it. But then you just get rid of it. And you're going to do the other two missions. That being said, you'll have one mission left over that you can get the double faction rep XP from. So you can either go out for another run with all three missions. Or you can just wait and just do the two missions per day. I would recommend going out and at least doing another run just to get the full XP bonus. When you hit a faction reputation level, being two, three, four, or whatever, when you hit that level, you're gonna have to go to your faction base. And you have to pick up a quest and do that before you can get more faction reputation XP. So basically, when you grab all three of your missions, you're gonna look at your map and you're gonna kind of plan a route on where you're gonna want to go. Every territory in every faction is gonna have a different route. So for example, Syndicate and Marauders, if they were both to do their PvP mission in Brimstone, they would both have different routes in different locations for their mission. Some of them might cross over, but really it's different, so you're gonna have to plan your own route. And you never want to backtrack, so just plan your route accordingly, run that route, hand it in, and good luck grinding guys. That's all there is to it. I hope you guys have fun in New World. If you guys want more tips, tricks, and guides on New World, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Pa-pa-pa. Peace.